All right. So welcome, uh, Israel, to to the call. Thank you so much for hopping on. I'm super excited to kind of have this conversation. Uh, we've been working together for a while, but uh, you know, slowly we've been able to achieve some pretty cool goals, and I, I can't wait to see what we accomplish next. Of course. So just so people understand, like who you are and where you come from, like if you could share a little bit more about, like who are you, where are you from, what kind of business do you have, and yeah, that's that's it. Sure, sure, man. I am a Mexican, Mexican born, Mexican raised. I am a sales coach and uh, yeah, I have a training program for salespeople, B2C, B2B. And moving forward, probably to what got me to, to invest with you, we met like one year ago or a little bit longer and we started to be our accountability partner, right? accountability partners and then we started to realize that we had i think that probably you had offered to value like value to offer to me and i was in the point where i was starting my coaching business on almost a year not with a lot of structure not with a lot of stuff and also uh, i was not closing enough calls and you raised your hand and said man i can help you close i can help you to start closing you had a lot of experience on that so that was our first uh, coaching cycle which was like three four months and that's where you started to teach me how, how to close and actually my numbers start to raise uh, exponentially and that's that's it for this first uh, uh, intro that's that's how we started <laughs> that's awesome and yeah it was super interesting i think we met in inside of another coaching program that was teaching us like how to build our own coaching businesses and uh it was, it was super cool like i just thought that you closed a bunch of people very quickly i think um through that program too and that's why we hopped on right to kind of and i, I thought i maybe could help you somehow so that was that was cool definitely yeah. so i guess before we kind of got started what was your situation uh before working with me uh with your business okay so the first time i think that i was already having some structure in my coaching program like i knew and i had a timeline and i knew like what to do and how to take people from A to B, but I I was not having enough calls and I was not uh, closing most of those calls. I was only closing the ones that were kind of ready or they're following me on, on my social media and I have some kind of um, uh, uh, authority over them because they follow me and, and, and they trust me. But then I realized that I didn't have the skills to close that people that were thinking about it, doubting that they will go and think for a day make numbers, you know, all these objections. And, and you helped me to understand how to handle these objections, how to work on them and, and learn this structure that is a totally different structure from selling and pitching, but, you know, like to, to make them decide on the call. And this is something that started to raise my numbers. And, and we started to work on that for a while. And then that's where I think that we finished, like we ended the cycle and I continued by myself for a while where I started to hit more walls right and that's the, the second part <laughs> yeah definitely i think if we even kind of worked in, in the middle a little bit placing a setter right working for you yeah. uh ended yeah. up not even being necessary because apparently like you're really good at setting obviously your sales coach so um I, I think the biggest thing is that you came in already with a lot of sales knowledge and especially in b2b uh, i think the the biggest value that maybe i was able to help you with was the B2C part, even though you already had a lot of uh, experience there as well. But just giving that perspective, selling coaching specifically, which was what I was doing before, uh, because clearly sure. you had plenty of knowledge in sales, but I think that's the specificity in, in the selling coaching that is interesting. Um, so what kind of walls were those that you were kind of experiencing after that first um, period that we worked together? Well, you can always get better you know, in the closing. And I think that even though I learn and I could manage like in, I don't know if that's too much or too, or, or not too much, but like in five months to start uh, closing without a script, that's the main goal, right? To understand the framework and then you just don't open the script. And I started to do it less and less. But then I realized that you start to get uh, comfortable where you are. You know? And then I was reviewing my calls and getting some, some adjustments by myself but i was not moving as fast as i was when i was with you and then with the setter it was good but i also was okay but uh, it was not that necessary as you mentioned 
So then I think on the next train is when we met, actually, when we met and we were talking there in, in Mexico City, uh, that you were already more involved in helping other coaches to achieve numbers and you started to create all this program, is that I started to realize that this, this uh, coaching uh, program that we were in, I think that I got everything I had to get from it, like the videos and everything were very powerful, but at the end I didn't have this guide that I wanted, like this someone who will join me and and modify stuff. So it's something that you already did. And I believe that as, as a coach myself, one of the main things that I learned about you is about even though um, I knew how to do them or I have, I'm a, I'm a sales, also I have a, a team in my SaaS software company. I have a team and I, I'm, I, I consider myself a good leader. But one of the things that I learned from you also is how to uh, communicate how to communicate with the team, how to communicate with the students, how to focus on the important things and don't get blinded by the things that are not important. Maybe you can see them as important in the moment because of your feelings or your mood, but you get lost. And these structures and these processes were something that I realized that I was missing and it's something that you were working on and getting results. So I think that this second phase of, of us working together is where you have really taught me now I was very afraid. I remember I told you back in December when I we started to work again in January. I say, man, I'm starting to close more, but I'm afraid what am I gonna do with these people? Like basically the delivery, right? And that, that fear disappeared when you gave me all these processes and SOPs, which probably a lot of people get lost in these SOPs and that you have to have a lot of structure and processes and stuff. And maybe that can be distracting as well, but for sure you need a point to start and to take the process, the prospect, the client in this process of sales. And in your coaching program, there is all these gaps in between that you cannot just fill in with, okay, I know what to do and I have content for them and I can coach them and my group calls or whatever you have. But you, you showed me how to really create a big and powerful delivery to start to get them onboarded quickly and to get them to work and see results as fast as possible and get them to stay and get the best results out of them as well. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan, right? Like, as you know, I do like systems and that's the goal, but the goal is not the systems, right? The goal is actually to get client results and to make it as simple as possible. Cause that's the last thing I would want is for you to have like a bunch of things that you have to do every day and be a, a slave to the systems. Uh, so you go from like being a slave to the chaos because there's no structure to then being a slave to the systems, which is also not very fun. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm glad that was helpful. Um, and now that you kind of have this knowledge, the new systems, also you're starting to do some Zapier stuff as well to have the integrations coming through. And eventually, you know, when you're ready, you're going to hire again, like a sales team. So you can step out of that. I guess, how do you feel going uh, into that future now with the, with the preparation that maybe we've developed together? Uh, excited and nervous because it has been exponential the growth like when we started to work together again in the beginning of the year uh, i was uh almost hitting 8k 9k right probably my best month was december so far i was accepting every way of payment like in the way of that six months six months i was getting a lot of people that leave the program that couldn't find the, the 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 path on my, on my you know you get good students and good students that they need more guidance so in this in these last four months that we have been working together again i could reach last month to 17.5k so that was double and now i'm excited because i have all this new knowledge and we have been adjusting every month the delivery and the offer and the pitching and the closing but it's like, okay, so I made it to 17K, like collected, not, not on revenue. The revenue is another thing, collected. But the goal is to, and the challenge is to keep these people that were on board and on the program with the three or four payments they want to do. My program is six months. So I'm excited and I'm nervous because I hit 17K, but this is like the sales uh, controversy, right? Like what an amazing month, but I'm afraid about next month. Is it going to be amazing as well? Or is it going to be lower? And this is something that I always teach. You know? Like we want to control the 
system and the sales that much that we know that if this month was amazing, the next month is going to be even better. And I think that this mix has helped because right now, 7th of May, I haven't scheduled any call, but I'm not that nervous because I am receiving leads, I am working on them, I am getting them to the calendar. And, and with the numbers that we have and the tracking sheet that you gave me and everything, I know that I can keep up and I can make it work. So I'm nervous and excited about making this my first 20K month. Why not? And I know that I have what it takes and we're working on delivery. These few weeks we have been working more on the delivery to get people faster in action to get results. And I think that all these small adjustments in the whole sales machine, coaching sales machine, is going to help me to get a fluent dynamic machine because I know if I have to fix here or there or there and this is something that you have given me the guidance and the especially like the knowledge to realize uh, as seen from up right like 10,000 feet view I know okay I have to fix this now fix this now fix this now checking my numbers my numbers daily they're healthy they're not healthy why not and this is helping me to create this long-term success Absolutely. all by myself so far right no one hired yet and this is something, something very powerful because before other coaches or stuff is like, no, man, after 10K, you need one closer, one setter. You need this assistant. And at the end, it's like overwhelming and confusing. And you need to train people to do something that maybe it's not the time right. So, yeah, and you know that, right? Because you have, you have the other company, yeah. you, you know how hard managing is. Exactly. Be. Yeah, man. So let's keep it up. I know that we can make it there. Absolutely, man. And I mean, obviously, there's ups and downs in business. That's totally fine. You know, if we go down a little bit, but I like the what you said about making it predictable, making it a system. So like a, a conveyor belt, right? And not a conveyor belt that ends at onboarding or at the close, but a conveyor belt that you can actually be happy bringing people in more and more and more and put more money in ads because, you can, you know, you can handle as many people as possible. And obviously, one day, you know, you won't be able to handle like 16 clients per month that also stay once they renew, right? But uh, you could also hire CSM at that point, right? And that's totally fine. Yeah. That the systems will support you until that point and beyond, of course. We will get there and you will guide me in that point. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm confident. Awesome, um, so I, I guess I'm curious about this. Um, what do you think would have happened if you hadn't, if we hadn't worked together until now to your business and to your life? I'm sure you'd still, you know, do well because you, you you know, you're intelligent and everything, but what do you think? I I believe that I would be 10 steps behind, probably. Maybe made a few mistakes that will waste my time, my energy, my money. And I, because of you, I realized, okay, man, do this, do that, fix this. We have to fix that. So I, I invest for the, look like every smart person do, do when they invest in a coach is to, to get the knowledge of that person. So that's why I didn't think twice when we said, okay, let's work together again. So that's a price I am willing to pay just as you pay yours with your mentors. And I believe that I will be in another level, man. I would be probably stressed, uh, learning my mistakes, uh, moving slower for sure. I will be in another point right now. And I know that I would be able probably to get where I am today, but maybe in 2025 or 26, probably I would be in another point where I'm not because I made a decision to to go in with you again. Glad to hear that, man. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure you you would have made it, but I think it's the it's not even necessarily about like if you're gonna do it or not. You probably will, right? But it's the speed, like you said, and how you feel about your life overall, right? Because if if you're making 20k, but then you're stressed out because you're taking so many calls per day and you're not sure if you should both to close them or not, or you're wasting your time or stuff like that. That's that's I don't know if that's that money's worth it. Perhaps it is for a time, but but uh, it's also pretty stressful. So not very sustainable, especially you know yeah, you having a family, right? Um, no, no, we need to go fast and uh, direct to the point and uh, the, the the processes, the things that you have invested in and learned, and you have already taken some people to big levels. Then I know that I can get there too, but by myself it will be. Uh, slower man so yeah best choice yeah I can see that, man. Uh, okay so i guess final question let's say if somebody's considering to work with me maybe or they're looking at my content and they're unsure if i'm legit or not um 
which I understand, you know, like, what would you say? Uh, what would you, what would you say to those people? Well, so many things, but mainly I would say that if you are a sales uh, coach, any coach that is willing to do the work, put in the work, put in the hours, discipline, and getting to another level by helping people with whatever you do, and you don't know how to get there, you are in probably uncertain, then as I think that Guido is an amazing option to take you to those levels, help you. He's going to be there for you. He's going to be supportive. He's going to be patient, <laughs> very patient. He's going to always give you his best advice, never by impulse, never by lying or pretending. He's only speaking by truth. And it's something very valuable that you don't find these days. So I believe that even uh, besides a good coach, you're going to find a good person, a good partner, probably good friend like we have become. And I think that just it's what we're saying, no man, like you can do it by yourself or try to look other options, probably way more expensive or way more complicated, or you can just pay the price and go in and let Guido guide you. Don't think it twice. Awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate the words uh, for sure. So uh, right. you've heard it. You've heard it. And this is just the beginning. I, I can't wait to do another of these like a few months from now and uh, where you've doubled the business again and gotten to an even higher level. So it's gonna make, let's make it happen. Yeah, man. We have and, big ambitions. Exactly. <laughs> Any uh, parting thoughts? Anything else you want to say? No, um, no, man, this is a roller coaster of feelings and it's a nice roller coaster. So it's not this roller coaster where you feel like it, it, you're amazing, but then you are in trouble. I think that what I was mentioning to you the other day is like, I am in this roller coaster where every day I want to know what I can do better for my students and for the program and for myself. And it's like so many things running through your mind every day. And sometimes you get lost on those things and you think that something is important to implement or do, but then you end up in another path in another way where you just wasted your time, create more content for people, create another program, more videos, and you just focus on something that was valuable for a couple where you have to realize in the average, like for all your students so far right now, I think I have to 30 students enrolled. So it gets harder but it has been easier for me to guide these people because of the cold mind that you helped me to okay man so these are your ideas perfect i can hear i can i listen i listen i feel it but okay let's go down let's check this what's the priority what is this let's check inside like not outside it's not their fault it's not let's check inside focus and this is something that has really helped me to to become a more introspective coach and person to realize what's in here first that I have to fix for then show it and project it to this uh, different people with different problems, mindsets, goals, challenges, pasts, futures. So you have to be a, a neutral person helping all these different characters. And it's very interesting. And I think that all the processes that you have created help a lot to stay clear and don't let them take you to wherever they want to take you with their moods yeah, <laughs> and their <exactly>. mindsets. <laughs> so basically being able to deal with multiple personalities, but still exactly. get the job done for them. Yeah. Without losing yours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah, man. I love it. Um, yeah, man, super excited, super grateful to have you as a client, honestly, like honored to to be able to serve you as best as I can. And I can't wait for the next things that I will learn so I can, you know, uh, give them to you as well. And I always learn from you every day as well. So, um, yeah, thanks so much, man, for this. And uh, yeah, everyone have a, have a great day.